Galaxies are spinning, okay? Now the inside stars, the stars that are in, on the inside of the galaxy, spin faster than the outside stars. Well, we see arms on the galaxy. We see these spiral arms on the galaxies indicating they are less than billions of years old. But evolutionists want us to believe that these galaxies formed 20 billion years ago. Some only say 14 billion. Okay, we'll say 14 billion years ago. Either way, because the inside stars are spinning faster than the outside stars, the galaxies should have spun out. They shouldn't have spiral arms on them like they have today. They should be one even, smooth, homogeneous mass of stars. But that's not what we see today. We still see spiral arms on our galaxies indicating they are less than billions of years old. Okay, so here we see stars orbiting the center of a galaxy. Sure enough, the stars near the center take less time to orbit than the stars further away. If we were dumb enough to try to make a spiral arm by simply putting a whole bunch of stars in an arm shape, then sure enough our spiral arm will wind up beyond recognition in just a few million years. Now, notice that I have made the stars orbit the galaxy in circles. In reality, stars orbit galaxies in very complicated ways, but like planetary orbits, we can approximate them with ellipses. Of course, the stars near the center still orbit in less time than the stars further away. So if we tried to make a spiral arm the way a moron would, it too will soon wind up beyond recognition. But notice that I have made all the elliptical orbits have the same orientation. That is, all of the ellipses are stretched out horizontally. What if I were to allow the orientations to vary? In particular, what if I were to tilt each ellipse just a little bit relative to the ellipse just inside of it. Then something amazing happens. Something that looks like spiral arms appears. To see that this is indeed the case, let's draw stars actually following these orbits. And voila! We have spiral arms! And these spiral arms do not wind up, ever! Notice that the stars near the center still take less time to orbit than the stars further away. Also notice that stars move in and out of the spiral arms. In some sense, the spiral arms are just optical illusions created by the way in which we stacked the stellar orbits. But this is not entirely true, because there really is an overdensity of stars in the spiral arms. And that overdensity generates a gravitational field. It turns out that this gravitational field maintains the elliptical orbits in the configuration needed to make the spiral arms. Because the spiral arms are just overdensities in stars that travel around the galaxy like waves, they are called density waves. If you are wondering how these density waves get started, imagine starting with a galaxy in which all the stars orbit in circles. If another galaxy passes by, its gravitational field will modify the orbits of the stars, and if conditions are right, the orbits will eventually become stacked in the density wave configuration.